noteworthy. Uh, a lot of players in business casual tonight. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. They've got Torrey Craig. Terry is out there with Green. Then it's Kobe White. And for New York, Jalen Brunson out there with Dante DiVincenzo. Then it's OG Ananobi. Then it's Josh Hart. And it's Hartenstein in its center. And game one of the NBA season, Greg, is here. Does everyone get butterflies or is it just me? No, I'm, I'm right there with you, partner. It, the anticipation has been brewing for months. Nothing like open at night. Back to Brunson. Shoots over White. White with the defensive effort. Looking at the Knicks, they took the win in their last game against the Nets. Craig with a screen on Hart. Terry against Hart. Five on the clock. Pass to White. From outside the arc. It's rebounded by New York. And even against defense as tight as that, you almost expect him to still bury those. Passes it to Brunson. No good from the wing. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. White the pass to Green. And Anobi sends it back. Showing signs of being a high-level defender. And Anobi can guard multiple positions and challenge shots. Here's Brunson. The shot goes in, first of the night. He's one for three to start the game. And the fireworks begin. Should be an amazing show tonight. How good is it to see the first one go through the net? The wide open look here for Craig. And again, Chicago, no good. So for Chicago, their last game, a win against the Wizards in Washington. Here's Hartenstein. Brunson up top. Mike covering. Oh, that's a nice read from Brunson out of the pick and roll. Chicago's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Green with a screen for Terry. Green up on top. Outside, White. Green with a screen on Brunson. Four on the shot clock. And White kicks to Terry. And again, no good by Chicago. Yeah, slow start right now. Five straight misses to get this one going. Greg, you spent your first four seasons playing in New York. What's that like? When the Knicks are winning, Kevin, there is no place you'd rather be. The fans are incredibly smart, loyal, and they'll treat you like a king. But no doubt that media pressure is for real. Green dishes to White. to the middle hard against Terry gets that one to fall after missing his first two one for three from the field and this is the attack mindset you want to see coming into the game get your better score some easy looks so they can start to establish themselves Brunson no good I mean he's staying aggressive trying to regain his touch but right now he's hurting the team Terry against Ananobi. Terry outside. And there's the foul. It'll go on Josh Hart. That is his first foul of the game. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Terry with a screen on Ananobi. And here's Green outside. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Hartenstein passes to Hart. Over Terry. Hart, no good. And the fadeaway was the only option he had on that one. Defender there all over. 
And the pass to Terry. Back to White. Watch the screen. To the paint. Got a piece of it. And stolen by DiVincenzo. Pass to Brunson. Here's Hartenstein. It's stolen by Green. Jumps up. A big dunk at the end of the break. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. Now we have a chance. Let's take a look at the teams that led the NBA in rebounding last season. In third, the Knicks. Their big man did a tremendous job grabbing rebounds, but to be fair, their rebounding was a total team effort. Everybody chipped in. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for New York. It's a three-point game. Pass to Hart. Looking to end the run. Good on the triple. Great decision by Josh Hart. He's got a nice feel for the game. White looking around. Craig finds White. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Oh, and just a soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley. I got to say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. A guy who gives his team, Steve, a ton of energy out on the floor is Kobe White. Kevin, he's definitely a spark plug, pushing the pace and trying to fire up his guys. Players love having someone like that on the floor with them. Tremendous effort from Kobe on defense, managing to get a hand up on the shot. From downtown, it's rebounded by Hartenstein. For New York, they've gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter. And here is Ananobi. Nothing on the board. Passes it to Hartenstein. And here is Hart. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Green kicks to White. The pass to Terry. He feeds it to Green. Down to five on the shot clock. They swipe it. Here's Hartenstein. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. He was able to simply lay it in over the top of the smaller man. Hey, Greg, to touch on the Bulls for a moment, defense has been an emphasis for him. It has, and they went through several years playing subpar D, and it cost them. They began to turn things around a couple seasons ago, and it has served Mind them the well. One shot. Now the free throw is good, now leading by one. When you look at this Knicks roster, Greg, this is a team that feels it can make a deep playoff push. 
and they have their stars. They have tons of young talent. Developing that talent and adding a piece or two should get them where they want to go. To the inside. Clark, that's good. Now it's a three-point New York lead. And now we'll get a perspective here on the hustle game, how it's been going for the Knicks. The way they've been going after steals in this game, it has been super impressive. They are wreaking havoc right now. And you can't turn it over against this team. That's a recipe for disaster, and we're seeing the results of that. And it's blocked, and they get it back. Just doing the job on the backboard. Ananobi against White. Ananobi passes to Brunson. Out of bounds. It'll be the Bulls ball. And New York making a change here. McBride's checked in. And the Bulls making a change also. Carter's checked in. So at Chicago now. They trail by three. Pass to Craig. Green, the screen. The 10 footer. And he hits the jump shot. Craig's got his second bucket of the game to go. Here's McBride. Pass to DiVincenzo. Hart with it. Here's Hartenstein. He's got five. Pocket four. DiVincenzo can't hit it. Green in the post. Defended by Hart. Passes to Craig. Carter with it. Against Washington, he was really on his game. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. A different look for New York. Bogdanovich, he's checked in for Hart. And it's Burks and for Dante DiVincenzo. New York's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. It's tipped. Stolen by Terry. Carter, the pass to Craig. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to go on Boyan Bogdanovich. The Bulls shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. That one misses. LGA for the Bulls. It's been a struggle to find consistency the past few seasons. It's been a one step forward, one step back kind of situation. That They don't need to set their sights on a title yet. They just have to establish that winning culture. That one drops. He ties it up. Here's McBride. He has yet to score. And there's the pass to Ananobi. Here's McBride. Here's the screen. Plenty of space. The shot, no good. Woo, that's just a case of bad defense and even worse offense. Carter, the pass to Craig. Now here's Terry. The tray connects from three-point range. Terry's got five now. Defensively, a breakdown along the perimeter. Just too slow to rotate. McBride passes to Ananobi. Stolen by Terry. And the bucket is good. Three points. chance here for him and a breakdown here guys the hustle stance for the Bulls for me they're turning defense into offense creating opportunities by taking the ball away great effort and they're making their own luck with how hard they're playing forcing turnovers and turning that into offense and New York making a change here Milton's checked in
You know, Steve, for the Bulls, it seemed like depth was an issue for them the last couple of years. It was, Kevin. They were pretty thin for a while. It resulted in a four-year playoff drought starting in 2018. But the front office did a good job to address the problem. And Bogdanovich kicks to Ananobi. New York moving it around. Six on the shot clock. Here's Milton. Up again. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. He has seven. Challenging the defense at the rim. Something he does very well. Excellent tip in. Right wing. Down low. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. One of the cases where height fails to tell you the whole story. Knicks trail by six. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. Milton looking around. Here's Hananobi. And with the move to position this basketball, wing players with the size and strength of OG Ananobi tremendously in demand. You need a guy who can hang with all the superstar wings defensively. And OG has a better shot than most. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. When you talk about OG Ananobi, here is a guy who gets better every season. Works hard on his game. Robinson's checked in for the Knicks. Jalen Brunson comes in for Shake Milton. Both free throws good from Ananobi. 143 left in the first quarter of the game. Carter against Brunson. To the right side. Three-pointer. And the Bulls, another three. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. It's Robinson, top of the key. One fifteen left in the first quarter. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. If you're looking to match the three points that happened at the other end, Give it to Bogdanovich. Carter dishes it to White. And he drops in the way up off the glass. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Brunson against Carter. Pass to McBride. Bogdanovich wide open. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. Brunson's got three assists in the game. Carter finds White. A beautiful reverse layup. White's got his second basket of the game. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. A three from Bogdanovich. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Pass to White. Launches it. That will count. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And that concludes the first quarter of play. It's the Bulls leading by five. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Bulls? 
way to set the table. Offensively, they dominated on the interior. They came in looking to attack from the get-go, willing to be physical and setting the tone. Bulls leading by five. So for Chicago right now. Drains it from beyond the arc. He has five. Good heads up basketball from Kobe. Spots a wide open shooter and gets it to him. Carter against Brunson. It's deflected. An even three on three break. White against Bogdanovich. The three. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Passes it to McBride. Jacks up a three. That will not get it done. He's 0 for 2. It's a plus 5 advantage for them in rebounding after that one. The pass to Carter. Takes a three. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. Knicks trail by 11. Stripped away and stolen by Bogdanovich. Achua, the pass to Brunson. The shot's good. And defensively, if you are not on point, Brunson more than capable of finishing inside. Outside, White. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. I think there has been some talk of having overtime play to a target score. Can you make the case for that? I mean, yeah. I mean, more certainty on how long the broadcast will go, right, Kevin? And protecting players from the heavy minute loads that can result from those games that go into multiple overtimes. So I, I, I like that idea. And the first one at the line is good. no good. Knicks trail by 10. And it's Bogdanovich in the corner. Some nice passing by New York here. McBride passes to Achua. Now Brunson. And a miss there on the triple. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. Carter outside. A 15-footer. The Knicks pull it in. They beat the Bulls during their last encounter in Chicago. And in the last face-off against these guys, they enjoyed a huge advantage in free throw percentage. A floater. That is good. And the Bulls lead is cut down to just eight points on the bucket from Brunson. Amazing floater from Brunson. He continues to show how dangerous he can be. And White kicks to Carter. Here's White. Off target with his three. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Letting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. New York City remains a basketball mecca. NYC legend and former Nick Mark Jackson always talks up the basketball environment. He says, coming up in New York, it's all about the grit, the grind, the edge, the competitiveness, the swag, the confidence, the struggle, and the embracing of the bright lights. Kevin? Well, it's all there, and it is the biggest stage for sure. David, thanks. Carter against Brunson. A three from Bogdanovich. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. Brunson's got four assists in the game. Chicago leading by five. They set the pick. Fires from deep. And again, no good by Chicago. 
just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Pass to Achua. Dishes it to Robinson. Pass to Brunson. A three ball. And another three for New York. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Outside, White. Started by Robinson. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Here's McBride. And it's sent back by White. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will retain possession. Brunson against Carter. Brunson the pass to DiVincenzo. Brunson scanning the floor. Shot clock at five. Fires the three. Hart, no good. Chicago's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. Inside. Brunson against Carter. Back to White. Chicago needs to get a shot off. Carter inside the three-point line. They can't stop the run with that one. The Knicks have gone four of ten in the second quarter from the field. Brunson against White. Outside for Robinson. Pass to on and over. Here's Robinson. Craig defending. On deep, Brunson. Chicago grabs the miss. Green's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. There's the dish to Carter. Now the pass to Craig. Carter against Ananobi. In the corner, it's Robinson. Ananobi against Carter. Ananobi is screen on green. Here's Brunson. Ananobi kicks to DiVincenzo. And the Knicks miss again. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Carter dishes to White. Shoots over DiVincenzo. Got a piece of it. And he gets it back. Craig sets the screen for Carter. Off target from three-point range. New York trailing. Pass to Brunson. Fires the three. Krills the three-pointer. Brunson's got 12 points in the game. And Brunson more than comfortable shooting the three. And boy, is he efficient when he lets it fly. And now the first time out called here for the Bulls. Hartenstein's checked in for Mitchell Robinson. Terry's checked in for the Bulls. Here's Terry. He's got eight. He kicks it to Carter. Green with a screen on Brunson. Carter for three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Carter's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Carter against Brunson. Drives to the hoop. And it's blocked. They recover it. They retain possession. Drives yet again. Pass to Hartenstein. And here is Ananobi. A three-pointer no good. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. 
And it's Carter penetrating. And he gets the bucket. Now it's a four-point Bulls lead. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for New York. There's a good screen with the fadeaway. Doesn't go for him. Chicago's gone for the three-pointers seven times here in the second and been successful three times. We know they like having Brunson out there, Greg, a player they can run the entire offense through. No doubt. And he can be trusted on to take the keys and just run things effectively. He keeps mistakes to a minimum, and he's a solid creator for his teammates. Ananobi passes to Brunson. Over Carter. Poked away. Last game for the Bulls, they picked up the W against the Wizards. Green left side. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. He couldn't have played it better. There was just enough room to get the shot off. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. And there's the call on Javante Green. That's his first foul. Kobe White, he's checked in for Chicago. Green against Ananobi. Shot clock at six. And here's Brunson outside. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Chicago calls timeout. While there's a break in the action, let's take a look at the players who had the most steals in the league last season. OG Ananobi, number one. There were so many nights when he controlled the game through his defense. Not a surprise to see him ranked at the top. The Bulls leading by four. Outside, White. They set the pick. Driving the lane. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Kobe White has a lightning quick first step, which sticks in your mind if you're a defender. The Bulls shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. He misses the free throw. Kobe White might be new to the league, but he doesn't play like it. Confidence and ability are beyond his years. And the second free throw, good. Now, Brunson, he picked up 30 points in their last win against Brooklyn. And a lot of those points came at the free throw line, but really because of his aggression. He, he was playing the game with force, always catching his man on his heels. The Bulls leading by five. Now here's White. A 20-point game for him in the win against the Wizards in Washington. The shake. And the layup is good. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Here's Brunson. Oh, 
All this means is he has to be careful. Don't want to pick up a cheapie and get sent to the bench with three fouls. One forty nine left in the first half of the game. And here is DiVincenzo. A 14 point game for him in the win against Brooklyn. And it wasn't just the scoring. He also impacted the game on the glass. Terrific all around effort. Here's Chicago. They've gone on a 10 2 run, not allowing much. White finds Craig. Back to White. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Fires for three. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. Hartenstein's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. One ten left here in the second. It's Hart on the wing. Guarded by Green. Five to shoot. That's it five from 18. That is good. And the Bulls lead is cut down now to just five on the bucket from DiVincenzo. And so White will bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. They've led by as many as 11 points. Craig sets the screen for White. Lots of room. And it's Chicago scoring again. Terrible shot selection, but you've got to appreciate his confidence. Passes to Hartenstein. The pass to Ananobi. Over Green. Ananobi, no good. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Back to Craig. Sinks that one from the post. Craig's got seven points in the game. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Brunson kicks to DiVincenzo. That falls. Nice feed that time from Brunson. You know, great feed there by Jalen Brunson. A terrific facilitator. And we finish one half of basketball. Bulls lead by six. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Kevin, thanks. Here with Coach Thibodeau. Coach the All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Thanks for tuning in. Did you miss us? Before we discuss the game at hand, let's first check out the upcoming schedule. Looking at the Bulls, at this point, you got to take every team you're up against as a test. Asking yourself, what can we do better than last year? Happens for us, too. Kenny, you cook up any new approaches in the offseason? Well, I'm going to reveal those, you know, over time, not just all in one sitting. But you're right. There is an opportunity to stretch and experiment. See what's working. All right, let's talk about the first half. A little bit of ground to make up for the Knicks. The difference in this game, the free throw disparity. They've been too complacent on the offensive end, and defensively, no discipline. Yep, giving away points at the charity stripe makes their job much more difficult. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. And it's the Bulls with the ball. 
six-point lead. OG Ananobi is out there with Josh Hart. Then there's Dante DiVincenzo. Then it's Jalen Brunson. And it's Hartenstein in at the five spot. So that's who Tom Thibodeau starts the second half with. And Brunson has it in the corner. To the middle. Oh, that's blocked. Pass to Craig. Craig with a screen on Brunson. Back to Craig. Pass to Green. Now White. Brunson covering. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Hands on Jalen Brunson. A confident score with an attacking mindset. If you're the defense, don't let Kobe White watch you slipping. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. And their last game, a tight win, and it was the success at the foul line that played a huge part in it. And, and he was probably the deciding factor. First one falls for him. throws good for white Knicks trail by eight here's Brunson a floater he takes it up and lays it in Brunson's got 14 points and it's all about the release when you shoot the floater. passes it to Terry Outside, White. Pope loose. Pocket six. And it's out of bounds. Well, they say it was last touch by DiVincenzo. Uh, a moment here now to see the numbers for Jalen Brunson. Coming off a terrific season. 18th in assists. And amongst the league's top tier scorers. Top 20 in points per game. And who could defend him last season out there? Defenders tried to body him up. Play a little physical. But time and time again, he drilled the three anyway. Just four to shoot. Craig passes to White. No good there. Brunson with some nice D. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Thank you, Kevin. You know, Jalen Brunson, for the NBA at least, is small in stature. But his tremendous footwork enables him to operate inside and out. He says, I've tried to make my game for what I had as versatile as possible. I've got to be crafty. I'm not jumping out of the gym. I'm not racing down the floor in two seconds. But I'm going to keep you off balance. Kevin? Oh, I love his game. David, I know you do as well. Hey, thank you. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. With the break in the action, here is the 2K leaderboard to show us the league's best shooting teams last season. Fourth, the Bulls. Hard to shoot the ball any better than they did. I mean, they weren't the best in the league, but, man, they were right there. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Hits one and misses one each at the line. Knicks trail by five. Brunson with it. He's got 16. Now Terry. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Green up on top. He's guarded by Ananobi. Outside, Terry knocks down the three ball. Terry's got 11. 
over the taller defender. This is why you have to stay connected to shooters on the perimeter. And let's give him some credit. He read the situation well. He created some space and he delivered. To the paint. Here's Craig. It's rebounded by New York. Hartenstein's got seven rebounds in the game. Now here's Brunson. To the inside. And stolen by White. Hard against Terry. Craig sets the screen for Terry. That's tipped. And they're one of four here to start the second half. Here's the pass to Brunson. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. And it's out of bounds to New York. They'll retain possession. Hart the pass to Brunson. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Here's Hart. And again, it's the Knicks missing. That's a good opportunity, but he needs to go up a little stronger, in my opinion. Takes a step back. Terry against Brunson. Just five to shoot. Pass to Craig. Puts one up from 19. Rebounded by Hart. Hart's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Yeah, this is turning into a slow start here in the second half. Seems like they left that offense in the locker room. Here's Brunson. And the wide open shot from DiVincenzo. Out to Brunson. Hands the shot with nobody near him. Brunson's got 18 points. Just a reflexive move by Brunson, putting complete trust in his mechanics. Terry with a screen on Brunson. Here's White. And the Bulls with another miss. Still trying to shoot his way out of this funk. But if it doesn't come within the flow of the offense, the whole team suffers. Here's Hartenstein. He's got nine. Brunson. Pass to DiVincenzo. Traps in the train. He's got eight. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. Green with a screen for White. Kicks to Green. Back to White. Craig sets the screen for White. Outside Green. Here's Craig. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Mono e mano. This is where it can get a little personal. Sometimes it's a matter of pride. Anderson back with a three of his own. White against Brunson. This could be a problem. That's his fourth foul with plenty of basketball left to play. Bulls making a switch here. Carter's checked in. Hartenstein passes to DiVincenzo. Passes it to Hartenstein. And another three for New York. And if you're the coach, you love to see this. Ananobi creating for someone else. Carter against Brunson. Carter kicks to White. And here's Carter. He's got five. There's Green with the three. Knicks with the rebound. Hart's got his eighth rebound here tonight. White against Brunson. They set the pick for the tie. Carter pulls it in. He had six points from long range in the first half, but nothing's fallen here since. Took him no time at all on that one. And the Bulls lead by six. 
This is the shot you want to get him. An open look from range. The pass to Hartenstein. Here's Brunson. Over Carter. The shot's good from Brunson. Brunson's got eight points here in this quarter. Great jumper there from Brunson, living off that mid-range. Carter, the pass to Craig. Carter outside. Back to Craig. Six to shoot. Stolen by Brunson. Even Chenzo passes to Hart. New York moving it around. Brunson draws the double. It's Hart on the wing. Craig defending. Even Chenzo can't hit it. Just a enough coverage to bother that three point attempt. Steps back. Harder on the wing. Shoots over DiVincenzo. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Chicago. It's easy for me. Look at their defensive effort all game. The block total shows their commitment to contesting shots. Take a break. And Take another a break. difference maker for them has been their opportunistic defense, that they are really piling up the steals in this one. The first one falls. And done a much better job from the line this half. They've gotten that percentage up over 80 for the game. And New York making a change here. McBride's checked in. Carter hits them both. Knicks trail by six. Pass to Hart. DiVincenzo kicks to Hart. McBride passes to Hart. Now here's DiVincenzo. Light covering. Tries again. And it's good on the way in. Hartenstein's got five points in the quarter. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. And the shot goes down. And the Bulls lead by six. Nice touch from the... mid-range. You can't give Kobe White these looks. Pass to Ananobi. Here's McBride, defended by Carter. McBride passes to Hart. There's the pick. Down low, just five on the clock. Here's Ananobi, and again, it's New York. That in-between shot can be difficult to gauge, but OG judged it perfectly. Let's it go from 14. Rebounded by Hart. Hart's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Ananobi against White. Inside. It's stolen by Green. White drives in. Passes it to Craig. That's good. He's five for nine. Adding to this lead, he's been dependable and consistent at the offensive end. McBride passes to DiVincenzo. And the pass to McBride. No good on the three. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. Pass to DiVincenzo. To the paint, they double him with Green, Hartenstein, and the Knicks miss again. 
The Bulls leading by nine. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Tenacious inside play from Kobe. Gets the shot off and a trip to the line. He's made three of his four free throw attempts in the game. Shooting two. And that one falls for White. So New York going with almost an entire new group here. Mitchell Robinson's checked in for Hartenstein. Achua comes in for Josh Hart. Bogdanovich, he's checked in for OG Ananobi. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Dante DiVincenzo. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Pass to Achua. Back to Brunson. Robinson down low. Harder on him. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. And that's 12 points for Boyan Bogdanovich. He has really made an impact from beyond today. That's another triple. Just think where they'd be without all the work he's done from the three-point line today. Here's White. Hands the tough leaner from the outside. White's got 15. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. Yeah, that's a great shot. Third three of the game for him first in this half. Carter looking around. Passes to White. But three. Robinson pulls it in. Knicks trail by seven. Now the pass to McBride. Brunson draws the double. A three from Bogdanovich. Second shot opportunity. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. New York shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And going back a season ago, they were a pretty average team at the line, about 76% altogether. And that one falls for Achua. Second free throw, no good. Chicago leading by six. Outside, White. And it's off from three-point range. And so it's the Chicago Bulls with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They've done a lot of great work from long range. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. 
So for Chicago right now, elbow shot is on the way. And with that, the Chicago lead is cut down now to just four in the basket from Brunson. And man, can Brunson get going in a hurry? He's got his fingerprints all over this one. Brunson against Carter. Stolen by Brunson. Pass to Achua. He kicks it to Bogdanovich. Marries the long-range jumper. This is his shot. Bogdanovich has the touch from deep. He's confident from there, too. Wide a screen on Brunson. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Hate to see that. I know everyone's mind is on the play, but you've got to protect the ball. Vanek shooting 43% from the floor. How about a minute played here in the fourth quarter? Back to Achua. New York moving it around. Brunson draws the double. Pass to McBride. Two on the clock. And that's good. Robinson picking up the assist. Robinson's got four assists in the game. And here's White. He'll bring it up for the Bulls. And another turnover here by Chicago. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Things really clicking for him at the offensive end. They're making good decisions, not wasting these opportunities. And out of bounds as Chicago gains possession. Chicago trailing here. Carter with it. He dishes it to White. To end the run. Robinson pulls it in. The Knicks have gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. To the middle. A dunk by Achua. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. Chicago timeout, calls timeout. timeout. He does not look happy. Their defensive rebounding has, has been putrid. And they're giving up a ton of second chance points. Ananobi, he's checked in for the Knicks. And Chicago also making a switch. Craig's checked in. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Well, during the break, I listened in on Billy Donovan's huddle with his team. Now he preached the importance of patience down the stretch. Coach said, we're not going to get it all back at once. Let's take it one trip at a time. Make it simple. Make it easy. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Kicks to Carter. Dishes it to White. To end the drought. That shot is off. New York leading by four. Out to the right wing. Here's McBride. White covering. A three from Bogdanovich. That one no good. And Chicago shooting here about 46% for the game. To the inside. Pass to White. Back to Craig. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to go on Boyan Bogdanovich. Yeah, easy call. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Knicks. Smart ball handling from them in this one. Passing around to get ahead of the defense and put it in the hands of ready shooters. And they've also been steady from the three-point line and doing a good job creating room for their shooters and then converting. That's good from Craig.
He's perfect from the line this time. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Brunson against Carter. And Ananobi slams it in. Seven foot two wingspan. OG Ananobi throwing it down. Bulls trail by four. Over to the left wing. Guarded by Robinson. Drops in the short one. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. And there's the pass to Brunson. A second chance effort. And Robinson with the layup. Robinson's got his first points of the game. And one of the stories of the second half has been all of those second chance points. I mean, they have been terrific on the offensive backboard. Bogdanovich against Craig. Here's White. Sinks the triple. Kobe White doesn't need much time or space to get off that catch and shoot. Brunson against Carter. And here's Bogdanovich for three. That falls. Nice speed that time from Brunson. Bogdanovich has got the lead back up to four now for the Knicks. Brunson against Carter. Knocked away. Brunson draws the double. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. Here's Ananobi. No good on the triple. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. Defensively, it's hard to account for everything. They gambled off him, and it worked. 14 feet away. The shot comes out. Frozen. Guys just ice cold, unable to contribute offensively. As to White. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. White's got 13 points here in the second half alone. Brunson against Carter. And here's Bogdanovich for three. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Carter outside. Stolen by Brunson. Here's Ananobi. Takes the 12-footer and hits. Ananobi's got the lead up to four now for the Knicks. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Pass to White. And Carter has it in the corner. Four on the clock. Kept alive. Stolen by Robinson. Passes it to Bogdanovich. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Well, he started out as a pure shooter. Bogdanovich has worked hard to become a threat off the bounce and a strong finisher. First free throw is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And here are the Bulls now. Six-point game. The dish to White. Inside. Green, no luck. Hmm, I'm not sure what happened on that play. 
may have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Look at Bogdanovich getting physical. Works hard to get the shot off and the foul. Free throw missing. No good at the stripe this time. Second misses also. And not a single free throw attempt in that first half, but he has been far more active since the break and drawn some fouls. Brunson against White. Shot clock at six. Let's the three fly. And again, Chicago. No good. And so it's Bogdanovich who brings up the ball for the Knicks. And now Terry pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Kobe White with the active hands, able to start the break and generate points for his team. Hard, he's checked in for Bogdanovich. One shot. New York leading by three. Now Brunson. A crossover. Pulls up. Brunson's got 27. Making the defense look hopeless. Brunson so clever with his ball handling. Here's Craig. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. free throw no good and he's letting a lot of points get away at the free throw line tonight it's got to be frustrating to have all that hard work not pay off he hits the second from the line that one miss was huge. He had a chance to turn this into a one-possession game. Brunson against White. Here's Hockenstein. And you see how Brunson's fine-tuned his playmaking ability. That pass on time and on point. Green, the pass to White. Green with a screen for White. Back to Green. Another steal. And here we go, the fast break. Brunson's got it. DiVincenzo finds Brunson. Shoots over White. Great positioning on the putback. Hartenstein's got nine points now in just the second half. Oh, and a nice job of turning that miss into two points on the tipping. Hustle points, I believe they call them. Hustle points right there. White dishes to Green. And it's Green with the jam. His playmaking is improving. It's encouraging to watch Kobe White dice up the pick and roll defense. The pass to on and over. Now here's Brunson. Brunson draws the double. Lock at six. Ananobi kicks to Brunson. Bucket is good. 
Brunson's got the lead up to eight now for the Knicks. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's feeling it. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. One guy who's been getting it done is Jalen Brunson. And he just keeps hitting shot after shot. They need to design a way to deny him the basketball. Make someone else beat you. to Terry. Here's the three. The Knicks pull it in. He's an okay long range shooter, but not with a defender right in his face. Hart kicks to Ananobi. Brunson against White. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. In one area where Brunson's improved is in the clutch. He's a monster in crunch time. Nice to have a player you can depend on in those key situations. That one falls for Brunson. Free throws, good for Brunson. And here are the Bulls now. Trailing by 10. White down low. Brunson covering. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Here's DiVincenzo. And a strong finish with two hands. He takes advantage of them in every way possible. And Greggy lures them into a trap on the steal, and then bang, straight to the bucket. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. Unloads from 13. Chicago grabs the miss. 139 left to play in the final quarter. White drives in. That one goes. Count it. White's got seven now in this quarter. Look at Kobe White attack and adjust into contact. Beautiful play. Brunson against White. Brunson the pass to Hope. Back to Brunson. Now here's DiVincenzo. Five on the clock. Over Terry. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. Yeah, just not on the same page. Unfortunate, wasted possession. 110 left in the fourth quarter of this one. White against Brunson. White the pass to Green. And Green slams it in. And that is first class right there. Can you believe that, Don? I'm not sure, Greg, I can. Brunson goes in. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And he saw a lane, and Brunson decides to challenge it. Doesn't take but a sliver of daylight for him to be aggressive. free throw is good and that will put them up by nine. And 
Both free throws good for Brunson. White against Brunson. Now here's White. Guarded close. Outside Green. Green with a screen on Hart. Terry finds Green. Back to Terry. Just four to shoot. There's the three. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. Guys, they can just sit on the ball here if they want to. They have earned this win. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Brunson. Here's Hartenstein. Trying to find Hart. Gets it to him. Even Shenzo can't hit it. From deep three-point territory. Can't connect. So no problem for New York as they get the win. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. And once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now our New Balance player of the game, Jalen Brunson.